What's up YouTube? This is Brian from Bull Strength coming at you with another video and today we're going to be talking about the single leg squat. So in my last video where I go in depth about the bull strength 5x5, I talk a lot about unilateral training. One of the exercises that I mentioned from the program is the single leg squat. And if you remember in the video, I put a little disclaimer in there saying that I was going to clarify exactly what I meant by doing a single leg squat in a future video. Here's your future video. The single leg squat is one of my favorite balance exercises, not only because it's challenging, but because it has great potential for loading weight and progression. Having strong stabilizing muscles and being able to keep yourself steady are not only important for menial tasks like walking and running, it is essential for preventing injury and keeping your joints healthy in the weight room. The key areas being targeted by the single leg squat are the connective tissue around your knees and ankles, your legs and glutes, and also your trunk, including your abs and your back. Unlike what some coaches will tell you is terribly unstable. Controlled instability is an excellent way for you to bulletproof your joints or to help rehab an injury. Doing your first rep of single leg squat may be a daunting task. So in order to build a base of unilateral strength, you're going to want to start off just doing staggered squats. A staggered squat is where you extend one leg out, heel down, and you basically squat off of one leg at a time. As it gets easier and you start building some competency in this lift, you can start adding some weight. Your first rep of a single leg squat is going to seem kind of unstable, but just make sure you give it a second or third rep before you throw in the towel with this exercise. I've been doing it for years now, and the first rep is always the most unstable of the set. It's just going to take your central nervous system a little time to fire muscles in the right order in order to get this correctly. So if you're a little shaky on the first rep, it's no big deal. Now something that you can do that will kind of help your balance, and I learned this um, from doing yoga, which is apparently useless because flexibility is useless. Why is it necessary to stay loose and flexible? I don't know. I don't care. I'm probably wrong about all this, I'm sure. So what you want to do anytime you're doing any kind of stability training like this is hyper-focus your gaze on a small object. So pick something in the gym to lock eyes with and just hyper-focus on it and do not move your eyes away from it. This is going to go a long way in helping you balance yourself. The more your eyes move around during this exercise, the more unstable it's going to be. And once you feel comfortable enough to do an actual single leg squat, go ahead and do it. Don't use any weight, nothing in the rack, nothing on your back. Just do single leg squats, try to get to eight reps, and track and progress with this, just like every other lift. Once you feel like you can comfortably knock out 12 reps of this pretty easily, you can go ahead and start adding some weight. So it's always better to start with a single rack and to have the weight on the same side um, that you're actually squatting off of. So you're basically just adding more weight directly into your center of gravity. Once you get comfortable squatting with a single rack, you can go ahead and do a double rack, or you could rack a kettlebell or dumbbell on the opposite side, which is going to challenge your transverse muscles more. And eventually you can load up a barbell, set it on your back, and do single leg squats like this. So this is the absolute ascended form of doing a single leg squat, is either having a barbell in the rack or a barbell on your back. All right, that's pretty much it for the video. Hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. If you'd like to support this channel, you can do so through Patreon or Subscribestar. Links are down here, and I will see you in the, vi the uh, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out. probably wrong.